in this video, we will run our Unity app for WebGL platform on mobile phone through local web server. My name is Andrei Sirota, this is Makaka Games. All important links you can find in the description. So I have a Unity asset called Sensor Camera, which provides operating with motion sensors for iOS platform and Android platform and not for WebGL. And let's test this asset with WebGL. Open Unity project, uh, switch to WebGL platform. And the first thing I want to do is build as Unity provide to the developers. Click build and run. We can see the address is localhost and the port is random port. This is local web server that Unity run for us. But main issue, we can't customize it. We want that this app will be accessed on our mobile phone, iOS, Android, doesn't matter, from our local computer, from our local network. We need to run our own web server. Uh, in this case, we need Visual Studio Code and one extension for it. So after installing Visual Studio Code, we need to install extension called Live Server. And after that, there is a small button called Go Live. Click to run Live Server. But before, we need to customize our web server. So open Build folder and create folder called .vs code with the next file called settings.json. Here we have only two settings. The first settings is the port for our app. We set it to 7777, just random port. And the second settings is our secure certificate for HTTPS protocol. And for the first iteration, we don't need it. So let's test our local web server. Open Visual Studio code and open uh, the folder with our build for WebGL. We need to click go live. And as you can see, our project running. So, and now instead of local host, which Unity provides for us, we have IP address with our port. And for now, we need to connect our machine and uh, our mobile phone to the one network. Let's connect it to Wi-Fi and also connect it on mobile phone. And now we need to find IP address for our machine. So there are two ways to do it. First, you can find it in the settings of your uh, Wi-Fi router. Open the section kind of connected devices and you can see the name of your uh, Mac or PC and IP address nearby. The second way to find your IP address is to use the terminal and use the next command. Here you need EN0 and this is uh, our IP address. But uh, there is a short way to find it. Instead of this command, we're gonna use this command. And in the one line, we can get our IP address. So remember this address, open mobile browser and enter it. So app throwed an error because uh, it used device orientation and without HTTPS, we can use it. Let's turn on it. So open terminal and uh, switch to your desired folder with change directory command. And next in this folder, we will create our certificates. So um, use the next command. Enter the password. 
and verify it. And the second command is next. Verify again our password. And uh, in this section, you need to fill absolutely random information. And common name for our host will be localhost. And now in our folder, we have two files which we need to copy uh, in the root of our WebGL build. Next, open the settings, enable our protocol in the sections third and key, indicate the full path for our certificates and the passphrase. Save the file, open Visual Studio, stop the server and start the server again. Is running through HTTPS protocol and this message is absolutely normal because we created self-signed certificate and Google knows about it nothing. So it's okay for testing purposes. If you want real HTTPS certificate, uh, you need to find the organization and pay it some money to create it. Now let's test it on our mobile phone. Close all tabs and open new tab with indicating secured protocol. Now we have the button called advanced. Click it and click on proceed to unsafe. Unsafe is normal for local testing. On Android you can't open scene that requires um, access to mobile sensors without secured protocol. On iOS scene will be opened but you will get no data from the sensors. So with the secured protocol on the iOS we can access and the scene and the motion sensors data. Scene is opened. We can access our scene and our gyroscope data without any permission. On iOS the app requests permission and after granting the permission you will get the data from motion sensor. Now we can test our app in the local Wi-Fi network without uploading it every time for uh, our hosting provider and after the second build and updating the page we can see all changes uh, on our device. My name is Andrei Sirota. This is Makaka Games. All important links in the description. Subscribe and get the power with Unity.